What's going on everybody? This is JG Tech Blog and today's video is about the Activite iPhone. All right? A lot of people have been coming to me saying they want to activate their iPhones or bypass this screen. All right, let me tell you something. This screen, first of all, is something called the kill switch that has been put into iCloud by Apple on the iOS 7. And what it does is if you lost your phone, you have the ability to send a message to that phone, for example, like this, that says, you know, put in any message. This one says, this iPhone has been stolen, please call or turn it into Oakland Police Department. All right, this uh, kill switch feature they put in, then uh, after that screen, after you swipe in, it's going to say activate iPhone. And it's going to request the name, the username of the Apple user and their password. Okay, from my perspective, this is perfect. Okay, you can't you can't bypass this and that's good because this is a stolen phone you're not supposed to be using a lot of people right now they're trying to find, figure out a way to bypass this let me tell you right now stop wasting your time you cannot bypass this until probably iOS 7 uh, jailbreak comes out for the iPhone 5 and 5s and 5c then there might be a way to bypass this but for right now they just to advise everybody there is no way there is no way at all. Some people say, well, you know what? You can downgrade it back to the uh, iOS 6 and then do it, bypass it that way. That is not the case. You cannot downgrade the iOS 7 to the iOS 6. That's not possible. Only if you were on the iOS 7 beta. Because the 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, and now they have the 7.4 cannot be downgraded. All right. So now, now that you know that you cannot get through the activation, activate iPhone kill switch that they've implemented, this is my recommendation for people. If you're buying a phone, make sure that the iCloud account is deleted. All right. Make sure that the, if you're buying a phone, they go into iCloud, they press delete account, and they put in their password and delete it. Okay. All right. So that's that. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments or in the question. Put it in the comments below, and I hope you I hope this helps.